just touched on it briefly, kind of as we talked through my uh, uh, presentation, then the other guys hit on it quite a bit. We talked about neck training and neck strengthening, how we do it every day, so on and so forth. Well, our issue that we find with our neck work is, one, we want to hit it every day that we train, especially in season. But two is we don't have neck machines and we can't sit there and do manual training all the time. So what we've basically done is we've been able to take bands. This is the first thing I bought. So, and I know Coach Cash has these too. If you don't have jump stretch bands, you should. Um, they're the best piece of equipment that you can buy because you can time choke them to anything and make up pretty much any movement that you want. So basically what we do is we allow our kids to be kind of self-sufficient um, with these bands. So the first one that we'll show you, very, very simple. Um, all we'll have to do is basically just choke it on a vertical pillar and we'll start off with some isometrics. And basically what we'll do with our next stuff is we'll go six different movements. Uh, well, it's really four movements, but uh, um, we'll go linear flexion and extension, we'll go lateral flexion and extension, then we'll go lateral rotation. So when you look at concussions and you look at you know how they take impact, all right, you have to make sure that you train on the same pattern. So a lot of it comes from a rotational. And look, it's the same, I think Adam said it, like it's not injury prevention, it's we just try to reduce some of those rates of injury. Like you can't guarantee it, but you gotta make sure you take the steps. So for our first one, um, we go isometric. Um, I'm gonna go hood up. We go for our kids, we give them towels. When we first did it, it was kinda like, uh, you're soft, you don't need a towel. But you actually find like it'll sit a lot better if you use a towel because it'll slide on kids' hairs or on hair and whatnot. And then the last thing I wanna do is, uh, you know, get the lion's mane all tangled up in the band. So, we go for ISO, so we'll go forward flexion. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the chin and we tuck back in. So we tell the kids we're cute, we call it fat face. So we pull back in, that way we brace, and we hit the front, and we just hold an isometric position. So the same thing with the extension, now we're just facing towards it, and we want to pull the head back, same deal with the chin. So whenever we're at, we're not just leaving the chin out, we have to actually brace and pull back in to be able to hold that position. Lateral, same deal, now we're just going sideways, so we'll go right above the ear. Now we want to keep the nose right down the midline of the body, so we don't want to lean away from it, and we don't want to let it tuck us back, keep the chin tucked in so we're fat face, and we just brace and hold in that neutral position. So when we do all of those, again, that's where we start, we just start with isometrics. Again, isometrics are starting strength, so that's where we started from. Okay, now as we progress these, we'll take our lateral ones, we'll take those and we'll go iso uh, dynamic movements. So for our lateral, now, again, talk about the, the number one way we take a concussion. Obviously, it's, it's blindside hit. We don't see those coming, but a lot of it's rotational. So we go, we'll go lateral ISO, so we'll hold, and we make QM to hold for a 10, 15 count, and then we'll go rotational. So they'll look over the outside shoulder, and then they'll control back to the midline. So that band's gonna wanna pull them all the way back across. They have to brace the middle, rotate away, and then back in the midline. So we'll go through and we'll hit rotational on both sides with that, okay? So that's kind of our foundational one. And then as we progress through, okay, so we go, uh, we'll go extension. So and then we'll start this one. We just call this uh, seated posture deck. Um, we actually got this one uh, from uh, uh, Coach Ken from House uh, uh, with the Panthers. And basically you're gonna go middle of the back of the head. You sit tall, the chin is tucked in. And then as we go extension back, we pull the head back into, okay, then we go eyes straight out front. So all the extension comes out of the neck rather than trying to lean through the low back. We don't drop the chest down. So we're holding that position, but we punch out at the same time that we create that extension. We brace and hold that position, okay? Now with this also, we can do the same thing we did up there so we can go isos. So we can go back and we just pull, pull that chin back in. So we go fat face and just hold for an isometric. Okay, to add the difficulty to it, again, we talk about the rotational. We'll hold that ISO, and all we'll do is we'll rotate to the side, rotate to the side, so that way, again, we have to stabilize it. We have to stabilize and go through a rotational pattern. So once those get easier, okay, obviously you can change band resistance, but the ones that we take our kids to next, we'll take them into an athletic stance for the exact same thing. So they go athletic stance, band, the same setup happens, they go, Good position at the bottom, chin's in, chest is up, punch out, back in, punch in, and that's it. So the same thing, you add the rotational to it, so you're able to hold. Again, you can go ISO, you can go dynamic on both those movements in any kind of capacity that you want to. The other one that we do, 
we'll ask our kids, we'll just get it so they can control their own resistance, their own tension in these. So we'll just lay them down. Again, same setup you had up on the uh, uh, up on the rack earlier. Okay, now you're just gonna choke that band out to the outside. Okay, chin's tucked in, head comes off the ground an inch or two. You can just go ISO. Same deal, you can go rotational, look over the outside shoulder. <laughs> so ultimately, by just repositioning your body and choking the band, choking the band in a different fashion, you can basically hit your neck on all four planes in different ways you need to. Very, very basic and simple. The kids, the kids get it and we stress the heck out of the neck. So it's not hard to get the kids to kind of understand and value, you know, to make sure they take care of and do things right. But this, this allows them to self-regulate. Because how many times, how many times when you're working, you know, kids are working together, they don't do a good job of manual resistance. Because, you know, they're telling jokes or he's not pushing hard enough or he's not paying attention. There's Seb's hand being here, it's here, and he's pushing down instead of across. So that allows them to kind of find and feel that groove and they just stay in that way.